Hi, my friends. I came across this clip last night from Donald Trump. He was giving a rally in Greensboro, North Carolina, my home state of North Carolina. And he was talking about what he believes the best cure for depression is. I want to play the clip for you and then I want to talk about it because I believe I have a unique perspective. But first, listen to the clip. You know the best way to stop depression? Work your ass off. Work your ass off. You don't have time. You want to work so hard that you don't have time for depression. You know the Like him, love him or hate him, I believe Donald Trump is 100% right about this. And I am not making light of depression, anxiety, or any other mental health issues. And I realize that there are certain factors that is very hard to control, like the chemicals they're putting in our food and our water supply that messes with your mind. So I am not in any way downplaying any of that. But I believe, particularly for men, that if we have a goal in mind, that we truly believe and want to accomplish, and we work our ass off to accomplish that goal. We don't have time to sit around and be depressed and think about all the things that could bring us down. As a man thinks, so he is, so he will become. If you have a dream, that's wonderful. Pursue it if it's good and it's godly. Because it's in that pursuit of the dream that we become the men we're supposed to be. You see, I'm speaking about this from personal experience. For those of you who are new to my channel, you may not know, I was born with cerebral palsy. And because of that, I am in a wheelchair. It would be very easy for me to get depressed and upset over things that I cannot control. But I have been fighting since the very moment I was born into this world to live. And it is because of that spirit that I believe I was born with that I am talking to you right now because I believe in America. I believe in the men of this country. And I think that there's a true problem with men today that we are overstimulated and that we are distracted by things that don't really matter. And that is why we're depressed. We're overwhelmed by the news that's doom and gloom all the time that wants to try to rob you of hope. But I'm here to tell you, I believe in the American dream. I believe in you. I believe in the never quit spirit of America. And I believe that if government could just get out of the way that we would have more opportunity in this country than ever before. That is the spirit that built this country, that never quit attitude. And I want to remind you, my friends, and I'm sure Donald Trump would say the very same thing if he were speaking to you now instead of me. Every man that has achieved something great in this life has failed a million times. I know success, I know failure. Before I started making videos regularly, I used to write articles, news articles for media. And I had some success doing it. I've experienced some failures. And at one point, I was about to give up. Because when you do that for over three years, and you climb towards a dream, and then you have a failure that, looking back on it, there's some things you could have done better. But you failed. And you thought, in my case, that that was your way up. That was your way to succeed. But it turns out that God had other plans. And I'm here to tell you that you should not give up because if I gave up, I wouldn't be speaking to you right now. I wouldn't be 
sitting outside, smoking a pipe, talking to you about news and about politics, and trying to help you make sense of what's going on in this nation today. Because I believe that if Americans have the best information possible, that we can make better decisions and determine our own future, regardless of what government does. And I believe that's a big part of my role. But if I sat around and focused on my failures and focused on things that were, in the world's eyes, stacked against me because of things that I had no control over, I wouldn't be doing any of this. And I'm here to tell you that at the time of the recording of this video, I currently have 774 subscribers. That's not to brag on myself, but to give praise to God who told me in the very beginning to do this. My mission is to wake up as many of the American people as possible and to help restore the ideas that this country was founded on. So if you're fighting for something that is greater than yourself, and you know it, and you've talked it over with the Lord, and he's put that dream in your heart and in your mind, you have to fight for it. And it is through that fighting for it, my friends, that we become the men and the women that we're supposed to be. And men need something to fight for. And so I believe it's because of that that so many men are distracted by the things going on, and they feel hopeless, and they look at the world around them, that they don't focus on their own dreams. Fight for what you believe in, for God's sake. Because if you don't, you only get one shot at this life. Why waste it? And this country, even now, even today in 2024, and this is election day, even now with all the concerns about that, and I understand them, we have more opportunity in this country than at any other place in the world. It's a blessing that I live in a country where a man with cerebral palsy can sit from his home and make a YouTube video trying to wake up Americans. That's a blessing. And I'm here to tell you that if I can do it, and I won't be stopped. You shouldn't either. What's your excuse? I don't want to hear them. Think about the things you want to do in this life. Think about how it may impact your family and your legacy, gentlemen. Are you willing to allow your family legacy to not succeed and shine because you didn't stand up you were made for such a time as this. You were made to conquer things that seem unconquerable in your family line. You were made to ensure that your family succeeds. So do not be afraid. And if you allow fear to conquer your mind, it's not anybody else's fault but your own. Have courage to take that leap of faith and dare to do the impossible and work your ass off to accomplish it. I promise, I promise it's worth it. Because I'm telling you right now, even when I'm talking about things that I really don't want to talk about and I get discouraged because of what's going on in this country, I have hope that there are people just like me who believe in the promise of America who know a little bit about our history and our legacy and are fighting to restore that promise to be that shining city on the hill that we were always meant to be. So whether you're sitting around and making videos like me or you're in the political sphere or you're just busting your ass off in whatever sphere that you work in to make a better life for yourself and your family, have courage to do the hard thing. Do not let your legacy 
be remembered as someone who gave up when things got hard. That's not who we are. That's not who I am, and that's not who you are. So I believe Donald Trump is 100% right about that. When you're working tirelessly towards something that you really truly believe in, you don't have time to be depressed. And so if you experience depression, really in a lot of ways, if you're a man, there are a lot of things that you could do to mitigate that. One is to dream and to pursue that dream with fearlessness. If you believe in me, if this message resonates with you, please do me a favor. Please like this video, share it to help inspire somebody else, and subscribe to my channel because it helps grow the channel and expand it. And I want to inspire my fellow Americans to be the best people they can be.